So you honestly thought we were done having scummy tactics in video games like microtransactions and bad things in video games? Well, think again because recently NBA 2K19 did something dramatically wrong and I do want to talk about it on this video. So basically what is going on with NBA 2K19 is the fact that NBA 2K19 Indeed actually put in a real advertisement for an upcoming show. I can't remember the name of the show off the top of my head, but just the fact that NBA 2K19 did put an advertisement for a upcoming uh, show in NBA 2K19 is absolutely ridiculous. Now you may be thinking NBA 2K19 put this in the game just because, well, recently they did make NBA 2K19 only $3. Yep, you heard me. It was only $3. So you may be thinking to yourself, they only put it in the $3 version of the game because if the game's only $3, then of course they're going to put it in a $3 version of the game because they want to make up for the fact that you did not pay $60 for the game. But it looks like that is not the case. It looks like even people who bought the game for $60 when the game was brand new are absolutely getting these advertisements. And the thing that actually makes these advertisements really bad is, one, you cannot skip these advertisements in NBA 2K19. You are forced to watch them. Basically, you have to watch them until the game loads. And then once the game loads, you can then move on with the actual game. And then second of all, these advertisements are actually advertisements for an upcoming uh, an upcoming show. And this upcoming show is about drugs and about uh, things like that. And kids should not be subjected to this uh, type of material because, as you guys know, kids are playing this game. Even teenagers are playing this game. So why are you showing an advertisement for an upcoming uh, an upcoming show that is related about drugs. Why, why, why? Honestly, it does not make sense. You should not be showing this type of material to little kids or maybe to teenagers and things like that. It does not make sense. But overall, this is not a good tactic to actually do because we paid our hard-earned money for this game. Why NBA 2K19? Why Take 2 Interactive? Why are we seeing these advertisements in our game? There should be no way we're seeing these advertisements in our game. Sure, it would be somewhat okay and be somewhat accepted if you put this in the $3 version of NBA 2K19, but just the fact that people who bought this game for $60 are actually seeing these advertisements is not acceptable. We should not be forced to watch an advertisement like this in a game that we paid $60 for. Sure, it's fine in a free-to-play game or in a game that you paid only a dollar for or free content, but this is not free content. This is not a, a purchase that we only paid one to three dollars for. Some people did, but the rest of us paid sixty dollars for this game. So this is flat out unacceptable NBA 2K and 2K19. Why are you doing this? Honestly, it makes your company look like a bad company. Why are you actually doing this? And this is not good for the gaming industry because a lot of companies out there like EA, Activision, and now Take Two and NBA 2K19 are making games look horrible and a lot of people aren't going to like you and a lot of people are actually hating their experience with NBA 2K19 and this should not be the case going on and people like me have to speak out on this matter because if nobody speaks out on this matter then they're going to continue to do this and on top of that other companies are going to get inspiration from what NBA 2K19 is actually doing and they're going to start implementing their own advertisements and video games that games that we pay $60 for and there should be no reason for this and this should definitely not exist. So why is this existing? NBA 2K19, you need to stop what you're doing and stop putting this advertisement for this upcoming show about drugs in your actual video game. It just does not make sense and you're going to piss off a lot of fans of NBA 2K19, a lot of gamers, just overall just giving us a very bad vibe. vibe so stop doing it. Anyway guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News signing out.